I rolled them up in my e-bike, my Mars 3.0 A-bike. <laughs> so anyways, today we're gonna do a quick uh, trick tip, electrician tip. Uh, I have lights out on the front of a house and uh, it's on a photo cell. So uh, here's how you test it out. Okay, first things first. We're in a gated community. So what does that tell me about outside lights? They all have to be uniformed and on at the same time. Therefore, what that tells me is that it's on a photo cell. If you don't know what a photo cell is, it's a dusk to dawn. It turns on, it turns dusk off when it's at dawn. Um, and so it's not on a switch. So it's in essence kind of like a timer by the sun, but these aren't on a switch. So, okay, the lights aren't on. I know exactly what this is, but you never know if that's the culprit. So what the first thing we do is uh, we emulate nighttime with this. And how do I do that? Well, I'll show you with this. All right, very simple. If you look inside there, that's like a normally open circuit is what they call it. I won't get into technicalities, but it's open. That means the power and the switch leg aren't touching. When it becomes nighttime, that closes. So. What we do is put something like non-porous so it gets no light into there. Now this will activate the photo cell. So you give it, I don't know, about 30 seconds, a minute, and then if uh, the lights don't go on, yeah, well, we kind of know that uh, we've isolated the problem down to a light bulb. But if, they, if the light bulb isn't it, then we have other problems. We could check the fuse box or breaker box, what have you, but this is generally the first place to start. All right, time for the test. Been about 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Screw in the light bulb. Let's see. How do I know that's what it was? A lot of people don't, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people don't realize that they have a photo cell inside of their house. They're looking around for a switch. They call an electrician, here I am. I'm gonna give you a couple of points on my hay bike. I mean, I'm in a gated community. Uh, people hit me up for little things. I just take my, uh, I just put my tools on the back of that thing and just scoot around. It's amazing. Take a look at that, that as well. And then uh, we got something else we need to talk about. All right. There's a lot of cool features to this bike, but we'll go over those. But one of the coolest is how you can store it and uh, travel with it. Push it in, simply unlatches on the bike. Now, bolts in half. So you can get that in your car, in the back of the truck, whatever, and then latches right back, right back up. And same thing with the handlebars. It has a, a latching mechanism here. And then uh, the handlebars fold down too. And then simply move. Then you can travel with this wherever you want to go. Comes with the hydraulic disc brakes front and back amazing the center of the bike the front shocks for a smooth ride has a ul listed 750 watt uh, battery over 65 miles of range comes with this for me one of the most important things is a heavy duty rack things that i'm going to need it for top speed 28 miles per hour extra fat Knobby tires, these are the big ones here. Quality. Eight speed Shimano drivetrain. Easy handling. 825 watt hour, removable. Comes with a color, TDF display with security features, like a NFC card access and uh, digital code access, so nobody's gonna steal your bike. And then uh, you can go your different modes here. If you want a certain type of speed, you wanna go touring, STD, standard, sport, and then turbo, like a rocket. Strap her down and I'm on my way. Any problems, me and the hay bike will get them solved. The top speed of 28 miles per hour, that's more than enough for inside my neighborhood. I think it's 15's the limit, so I think I'm gonna go speeding around and then maybe we'll get some beers and tacos with this baby. 
Shall we give her a dance? Woo! All right, people ask me, you know, what's the best feature of this bike? Uh, what's the best thing about it? Well, at the corner of my street, there's a beer store. And then across from that, there's a place called Chato's Tacos. So what's important here is that uh, we can get tacos and beers whenever we want. Oh yeah, streamlined design only cost me uh, two cents to go to the beer store. And, and what do I get? Taco time, baby. Oh, you know it. Got those carnitas tacos with those pickled onions and oh, and everything else. And of course, it's the king of beer. I don't want to hear any of your lip. It says it right on the label. So what time is it? Oh, it's taco. Of course, thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Um, get you one of these hay bike Mars 3.0. I'm gonna leave that link in the description. Uh, click on it and get you one. I mean, it's, it's out of sight. I love it for um, just scooting around. Again, literally, I'm, I'm serious. You'll get my tacos and beer, they're right up there. I live on a street where you can only turn right. It's a very busy street in Vegas. So turn left, come in, you gotta do U-turn, go back around, come to, it, it's really a pain in the neck. Tons of traffic and the lights suck here. But with an electric bike, I'd shoot up one way up the uh, sidewalk, beer store tacos, or I could do tacos and beer store and then come right in. So handy dandy, get yourself um, a hay bike for yourself. You're gonna love it, I guarantee it. I never thought that I would be driving one around, you know, not so slim, but uh, no, this thing scoots, man, I love it. So I'm gonna get to enjoying my taco, crack this beer, time to watch football, take care y'all.